Today we're going to be dissecting a hard drive so that we can destroy the plate so it can't be read later on. You're going to need a star bit. Um, I don't know what size it is, but I got a little assortment here. So we're going to figure out which one it is, which this is probably it. Yep, that's it. And that on this particular drive is a number six. So on this case I'm going to proceed to remove the control panel. Um, I see six screws. And this is not going to be used so it doesn't matter if you scratch any of the circuit board or anything. That is off. And you can set that on the side. Um, I don't see any more screws on this side. So turn it over. And that's a bigger screw on that side, which is a number seven. Remove all of these covers. I mean, uh, screws to close on the covers. This is a good way to get rid of your personal information on your hard drive that some criminal can steal your social security number, etc. That's left on here. But we're going to destroy it to where it can't be rewritten. I mean, reread. Now, underneath the center. Of, I have it marked in the center of here. There's also a screw which they have For security reasons And it's gonna call me a liar. It's not under there today. Where is it at? There's a screw. We're just gonna figure out where it's at Okay, it's over here a little bit under right here Just feel around and you'll be able to tell where it's at and That's that and that is what the inside of your hard drive looks like. Now, what went wrong with this hard drive? I have no earthly idea. But I do know that it don't work. So, it's not recognized by the computer. So, what I do is I proceed to remove all of the screws that I see. And that isn't totally necessary, but it's fun. So... I'm going to remove all of the screws I see, and these all seem to be number seven that I see so far. Now the ones that I know you have to remove are the ones in the, that hold down the platter. And there look like there are six of those. This thing, your uh, the reader, I don't know what it's called, but the thing that reads the disc, is actually held on with a magnet. After you take the screws out, you have to break that magnet bond, like so. That's all it is, is a magnet that holds it. pressure going back down. It's a pretty strong magnet. Oh, come on. Alright, there it is. I mean, it's a pretty strong magnet. After that, you can pull out a few of these things. Um, you, technically, that's all you have to do. You can pull your platter out of that. That's what you, the object of it is get your platter out. Now you did have to remove them other screws because otherwise this wouldn't have came out to get to the second platter. 
and dump that platter out. And technically, that's all you have to do. You don't. Uh, it's not necessary to go any further than that because that's what the information on is right here. So, what I proceed to do here is the best thing to do is take a grinder or something like that and grind this surface to where it's all rough because then it can't be red. So in this case I'm just going to temporarily make some scratches with the screwdriver such as that and when it's finished it'll look like that. And I don't think that they're going to be able to read much information off of this drive anymore when I get finished with it. Now I'm going to hit it with a grinder, but at least temporarily this is done to get it the information removed. And that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching.